Welcome, I'm Lydia Steves. When I decided to do a colored pencil book, I was looking for some interesting backgrounds. I experimented with the suede velour matte board. One of my projects has that as a background. Also, um, some of the scrapbook papers out there are some really gorgeous some ones. This one that I have little Alfie on has the die cut leaf edge already cut out and a very simple little um, background in here which worked out perfectly. Little JD is on some very thin wood grain paper which uh, is perfect for him I think. And I also experimented quite a little bit with the Creative Imaginations Luminart paints. It gives a little shimmering watercolor effect. So these shimmering watercolors, they come in pumps, radiant rains is what these ones are called. They come in these little tablets. These are the Twinks, sparkling H2Os. These are the big singles, and then these ones, they have a bunch of sets. And they come in dabbers. When I first got them, I got all my twinks together, and I made a little sheet here so that I could really see exactly what color I was getting. Because sometimes when you see the tablet, uh, for instance, this color here is poppy, and that's my little uh, tester. You can see it's quite different. I didn't make a testing sheet for the uh, for the radiant rains. They don't come in quite as many colors, but they're still pretty great. But as you can see, that they are pretty vibrant. And so, what I did for two of my projects is that I toned my paper with the pearl gold and the pewter. So cut your paper to the correct size. On the Cheeky Blue Jay, I told you to cut it a little bit larger than what you want because I found that the color pooled a little bit at the edges and it was nice to be able to cut that off. Spray your paper front and back with clear water so that it lays flat. The other thing that you want to do that I didn't mention in my book, look at the staining with the blue flame. So you're going to want to get yourself um, a latex glove. These are basically watercolors with the little shimmer. For the cheetah, I took my two colors and I just sprayed them on my paper, let it dry, and that was the end of that. For the chicky blue jay, I sprayed the key lime on first. Now it can be a little messy, so I put lots on, and then I sprayed the blue flame. Now if you're finding that you just don't like the blue flame, you don't like the mess, you can also pour it into a little dish, and you can sponge it on. and then you have a little bit more control. You know, if you don't mind, then just go for it. That's what I did the first time, and this time I'm trying to do a little bit more. If you do use the spray part of it, you have to keep care of the pumps, otherwise they will clog, and then they'll be no good. Okay, so. Now, I want to have a little bit more of the green showing through. I don't want a blue sky. I want this like a, you know, not a focus background. Kind of like in the sponging part of it, to be honest. And it self levels. It's like watercolor. You don't need to work it to death. Just try to get the effect that you'd like and then let it be and let it find its own little little way. There. Yep. 
There we go. If you want to get your mop brush and do a little more, you can, of course. You can always do whatever you like, whatever uh, whatever you think is going to look the best. Just remember it's a background and the cool part of this is the wonderful, wonderful colors and then that little tiny bit of shimmer just for something different. Okay, so we'll just let that dry. If it curls up on you and goes all wavy, that's when you can iron it. And then there's a super seal spray that you want to put on. That just is more of a protection so that if something does fall on it water-wise, it's not going to destroy your, your, uh, your effect. They are watercolors, so they will turn up. They do stain, though. <laughs> now for Chance and for, um, for Ellie, I took the pewter and the pearl gold. I sprayed the pearl gold all over. Then I took some pewter and I sprayed that on there. You can tap that with the sponge if you want to or just, just let it rest. It doesn't really matter unless you have big plaps of, um, of the pewter and you don't like those, then you can sponge them off. Make sure when you shake these up though, you just go back and forth, back and forth like this. Okay. And then make sure that you clean that pump. Rinse that pump right out. I usually put a bowl in the sink filled with water and then just take the, the pump off here, stick it in that water and spray it so that it all the color goes out and you can put that pump back in. Now it dried and I thought it was a little rough looking. So I put my colors back into the little dishes that I had, took my sponge and retapped doing the key lime first and then coming back with a little bit of blue just to soften it up. And I think I like that a little bit better. The plan for this little piece of paper is going to be the same wood piece as the uh, Cheeky Blue Jay. And it's going to be chipmunks. One chipmunk. So check back, it'll be a packet.